everybody, I'm back. We've got our last week of Valentine's Day gift ideas. This isn't really a gift as much as it is kind of a nice thing that you guys could do on Valentine's Day with your significant other. If you have this all ready to go, it will make for a pretty awesome night in if you were to decide to do that, or it could make for a pretty awesome after you get home. Um, basically what I'm going to do for you guys today is show you how to dip stuff in chocolate and hopefully make it easier for you to understand the concept and exactly what you need to know so that you don't run into any issues. So let's get started. Okay, so here is what I went to the grocery store and picked up today. I decided that it would be a nice variety if I did white chocolate, semi-sweet, and dark chocolate. I'm not a huge fan of milk chocolate, but that's definitely something that you can use also. I just chose semi-sweet instead. Um, then I also have raspberries, blackberries, and strawberries, and I did pick up some pre-cut pineapple. We will be dipping that in chocolate also. I also got some Nilla wafers. I got really lucky. My fruit is awesome. It is gorgeous, and it is delicious. So we're just going to jump right in and get going. What I have going on over here on the stove is a double boiler, and in case you don't know what a double boiler is, this part of this process is very, very important. What I have here is a pot with some water in it. You can see it's not full, and it doesn't touch the bottom of my bowl when I set my bowl over the top. And then I have my chips in here, and they are gradually going to melt from the steam that comes off of the water. So the water isn't going to hit the bottom of the bowl at all. The first few times that I've tried dealing with dipping things in chocolate, I had such an issue melting my chocolate, and it was all because I was letting the water in my pan touch the bottom of my bowl, and that's a huge no-no. I keep stirring these chips continuously to try and get them to melt a little bit faster. As the heat comes off the water, like I said, it's going to create steam underneath that bowl. That's going to be what melts those chips. And then once it's completely melted, you can go ahead and grab your berries and stuff and start dipping them in. This is going to be fun. Okay, once your chocolate is melted, which you can see mine is, you're just going to take your berries and dip them in. And what I do with my strawberries is actually leave the green portion on because it gives you something to hold on to so you can dip more of the strawberries in the chocolate. Just make sure that you pull them all back so that none of them get put underneath the chocolate. And then you're just going to take it and put it in there. Now I will say white chocolate is pretty much my least favorite thing in the world. Uh, I love to eat it, but it is my least favorite thing to melt. It's more picky and that's just because it's white chocolate. So there's strawberry number one done and then I just have some wax paper sitting down here on a tray so that I have somewhere to put them. Also, when I rinsed these, I did make sure that I dried them as well because that's important when you're dipping. You don't want any water to go in your chocolate.
but I'm just going to clean this all up. While it's sitting on this pan yet, you can get everything out of here pretty easy. And I just took my spoon and scraped out most of it, and then I have a paper towel, and I just wiped it out like you just saw. And then what I'm going to do, since I am doing three kinds of chocolate, is I'm just going to go ahead and make a batch of the other chocolate so that I can go ahead and do some berries in that. And then if I want to, I can always make more white chocolate later, and then I can actually have the option of drizzling some white chocolate on some of the darker ones. So here we go. Now these are the semi-sweet, and my bowl is already warm, so they're going to melt a lot faster, and they also are going to melt better than the white chocolate, just because the darker the chocolate is, the easier it is to melt. You also can do this in the microwave, but it's a lot harder to keep track of how warm it actually is and when it's melted, so you're more likely to burn it. And I used to be like, oh, I'm going to make it on the microwave. It's fine. It'll be faster. It'll be easier. I was so wrong, and I struggled with it for so long. So this is actually way easier. And, I mean, it's a little bit messier. You have more dishes to do when you're all done. But it's really not that big of a deal. So here is my semi-sweet chocolate. All melted. Now I'm just going to go ahead and start dunking stuff in it. Now, I have more than one sheet of wax paper on this tray, so I'm just going to go over and set it on the counter to get this one out of the way so I have room for more. Okay, here's what I've got so far, guys. This is with just the white chocolate, well, some of the white chocolate, and all of the semi-sweet done. And then I will continue to go ahead and do the dark chocolate and then possibly do some white chocolate, depending on what I have left.
Here's a pretty close look at what I've got for you guys when I put the dark chocolate over the white chocolate like I had said that I was going to with a few of them. Anyhow, so here's just a few of them and then this is what I have total. I've got this container here and I also have all of these here. So that's my last week of Valentine's Day gift ideas, guys. I know that this one is a little bit more tedious. It is also something that is going to mean quite a bit if you do it for your significant other because they're going to know that it was something that was tedious. It wasn't like it was hard. It just took a long time to actually physically dip each individual berry into the chocolate. If you want to just do strawberries, you can feel free to just do strawberries. I did a good mixture for you guys just so that you could see some of the different possibilities. I threw pineapple in there because I personally love pineapple dipped in chocolate. And I figured that there are probably a lot of people out there that would go, ew. But maybe you'll give it a try because you know that somebody else out there does like it. Definitely let me know if you guys give this a try yourself. Let me know if you enjoy it if you do. And definitely let me know what your significant other thinks of the final product as well. I hope you guys all have an awesome week. I have missed you over the last week. And I cannot wait to see you again. I do have to say though, I don't know if there's going to be a video next week. Just because it is the holiday weekend. I will see you all very soon. Bye have any other op or other, any other mm -hmm. yeah okay what's the word I'm trying to think of hmm